How to multiply decimals 3.14 for circumference and area circle. In sixth grade, we learned that pi is equal to 3. That's all we use in sixth grade. Three whole number. That's all we use. If you go to seventh grade, eighth grade high school, they'll laugh at you. They'll say, uh, this is seventh grade and eighth grade. We don't use three. We use three and 3.14. Of course, you know, a pi goes on forever and ever. It's irrational. There's no pattern. It just keeps going forever and ever. It never stops. Some kids actually memorize it to the hundreds place. I wouldn't. I think I only know the first couple. 3.14157. I stop. So, there's three formulas you need to know. 2 pi r. C, circumference is pi d. And area of a circle is pi r squared. So, we have circumference is the same as 2 times pi times radius. Circumference is the same as pi times diameter. Our area of a circle is pi times radius squared. Let's start off with the first one. You have a circle. There's a radius. The radius is 5. Let's fill in our formula. 2 is 2. Pi is 3.14. Our radius is 5. What is two groups of 3.14? Two groups of 3.14 is 6 and 28 hundredths times 5. You can do it that way. I prefer lattice multiplication because that's what I prefer. Again, this is what I want to do. You do not have to copy this. So, 6 times 5 is 30. 2 times 5 is 10. 8 times 5 is 40. 0, 4, 1, 3. There are two digits behind the decimal point, so it goes right here. Because 6 times 5 is close to 30, 31 is close to 30. That's the answer. So the circumference of this circle is 31 and 40 hundredths. Let's try one with diameter. Here's a circle. The diameter is 7. So pi is 3 and 0.14. The diameter is 7. Find the circumference around this circle, the distance around the circle. So let's see. You have to multiply three and four, three, three point fourteen or three and fourteen hundredths times seven. If I had to estimate, I think the answer is going to be twenty-one something because three times seven is twenty-one. Again, I prefer that's me. I prefer lattice. So let me separate the digits. Let me draw the diagonal. And let's now let's fill in the blank. 3 times 7 is 21. 1 times 7 is 07. 7 times 4 is 28. 8, 9, 1, 2. I got 21, 2, 1, 9, 8. There are two places behind the decimal, two places behind the decimal. So it's 21 and 98 hundredths. Let's check my work. 7 times 3 is 21. Close. Very nice. Next one. Here is a circle. Uh... <clears throat> The radius is 6. Let's find the area. How much cubic, whatever, centimeter cubic units fit, little squares fit into this circle? So we have pi, let's go, pi is 3.14, radius is 6, radius is 6. Because remember, you're saying you're multiplying the radius times the radius again, radius to the squared. So we, what's 6 times 6? 36. So they want you to multiply 3.14 times 36. Again, I prefer lattice. It's just what I prefer. So let's separate the digits. Draw some little diagonals. Fill in the blank. We have 9. We have 3. We have 12. We have 18. We have 6. We have 24. So we have 4. 6, 2, 2 is 10. Carry to 1. 8, 0, 3, 1, 1. Try to have better handwriting than I do. If, if you write this bigger and write neater, I think the markers make it too fat to tip. You can barely read your handwriting and what you're doing. 8, 0, 3 is 11. 1, 1 is 14. Carry the 1. 1, 9, 0, 1 is 11. Carry the 1. So it's